Hey, it's Jang here from Ultimate RC and RCmania.com. That's the place for toy grade RC reviews. This is the video to accompany my written review of the Air Hogs Twin Vortex, shown here. This is an indoor helicopter style aircraft. Uh, kind of futuristic looking. It has a very interesting design to it that really catches your eyes right up front. Uh, it has two main helicopter-like rotor blades that are powered by independent motors and they're completely surrounded by these foam rings. At the rear there is a third tiny little motor with a tiny little propeller for giving you forward flight that you can control the speed of. To turn, the Twin Vortex uses these two flaps which always move in opposite directions. They help to redirect the air from the main rotors. The Twin Vortex has a three channel infrared controller. You've got your throttle over here, that's for going up and down. Then you've got yaw or steering here, and then you can independently move forward on your command. Now interestingly enough, there's this little piece, sort of like a shift gate from a car, that you can pull off. You just have to pull off this extra little thumb or finger knob on the top, and this comes right off. And that allows you to move this uh, right side stick around 360 degrees. You actually can't go backwards with the electronics on the Twin Vortex, but at least it allows you to turn while going forward. Now there are two trim abilities here. One is that knob, which allows you to adjust your roll or your left to right. As viewed from behind, you can actually trim that drift out if it has any. Then there's this regular yaw control, that's your steering trim. So if it's spinning off to one direction or the other, you can make it stop that and have it going fairly straight. Now, like most Air Hogs controllers, this one does have a charger built right in with a very safe uh, charging plug that you can't go wrong with. Just plug it directly into the bottom of the Twin Vortex craft itself, flip a switch, and it starts charging it up. Now let's see how the Twin Vortex flies. The Twin Vortex is a lot bigger than a typical indoor micro RC helicopter and it's heavier and it has a lot more power. With those twin rotors that are completely separate from each other, it moves a lot of air around. So in a room that's small like this one, you actually end up generating your own wind and your own air turbulence. And that turbulence can come back and actually kind of jostle the craft around in the air a little bit. However, it has enough agility with those flaps and with the forward motion control that you can actually deal with that sort of turbulence and keep it under your control without crashing. If you have access to a larger indoor space, you won't have as much of a problem with the turbulence created by the craft itself. And instead, you'll be able to use the rear motor that gives you extra fast forward flight a lot more. You'll be able to see that this thing can really, really move. It's not designed for beginner pilots. You should start with a two-channel or three-channel gyroscope enhanced craft first before stepping up to something like the Twin Vortex. This one, like I said, it's fast and it's very agile, so it requires plenty of practice to get used to its controls and how quickly it can respond to your control inputs. Once you have that practice, oh man, it's just a joy to fly around. It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's a good challenge. It's not panicky, and it's always under your control. It's really up to how quickly you can respond and how well that you can uh, really become one with the craft. Learn more about the Airhawks Twin Vortex and my detailed thoughts about it in the full written review at rcmania.com. <laughs>